co-host of Healing Doorways, and today I have Maite and Rafa, a power couple, the creators of Oleo Life Essential Oils. We will be talking about what aromatherapy is and all the benefits it can bring to our lives. I hope you enjoy this interview. Rafa, welcome to Healing Doorways. Good to see you. Thank you for having us. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's been a long time since we catch up last time. So I'm very happy to have you here. And I have invited uh, Rafa and Maite because they are the, the creators of this wonderful product. It's called uh, let's see if I, I can say it right. It's the All You Life. That's, That's it. That is perfect. <laughs> all You Life. Uh, so it is um, that it is a brand of um, essential oils. So they are here to talk about what is arom- aromatherapy and how essential oils can help us um, in our everyday life. So um, welcome again. And and what what is uh, what is aromatherapy and where does it come from? Well, um, aromatherapy is the using utilizing the compounds of natural botanical ingredients like essential oils for more medicinal approaches like healing, not only physically but also managing stress and emotions through the benefits of these natural compounds. So these are extractions of leaves, of flowers, um, of barks, of trees as well, and resins, um, or cold press as well from the peels of the fruit. And where you, you extract this really highly concentrated compound that it's called an essential oil. And yeah. you actually get two things out of that. You get hydrosols and essential oils. Um, the essential oil is the most um, really concentrated version of it. And then you can use it in various different ways to, to treat mind, body, and soul. Yeah, in most of the cases is steam distillation. So in that way, you separate the organic compounds that come in the raw materials. For example, the most known is lavender, the one that you have there. Or in some other cases, you use cold press, for example, in the case of many citrus essential oils, and you get the oil on that way. Mm. And yeah. very interestingly enough, um, aromatherapy is actually is a practice that has been known for ages, since the Egyptians, or even longer than that, it has been used um, as a, a different alternative to medicine, and, and a lot of scientific medicine has actually gone back to what aromatherapy principles are to produce new scientific um, modern medicine, let's say. So we can use it for so many things. like So many, so many, things. So many things. And I have a few questions here from the audience. Um, mm-hmm. I have a lady asking if the rosemary oil can you use it for um, for for your hair for um, to regrow your hair? And how do you use it? <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yes, actually, interestingly enough, rosemary is one of the key um, essential oils to use to stimulate the hair regrowth. Um, obviously, it's very important to understand as well that there's no magical thing. <laughs> Okay. So consistency and proper use of it will help to um, in the stimulation of the regrowth of hair. And a really good technique that you can use, really um, easy to use with ingredients that you have at home, is um, with coconut essen- um, coconut oil, mm-hmm. refined, filtered, fractionated, anything that you want, just slightly warm it up, not heat it, just slightly warm it up. And you can add, depending on the amount, let's say two big tablespoons of coconut oil, you can add about four to five uh, drops of rosemary essential oil and apply it all over your hair and massage your hair, stimulate your hair, stimulate that the blood flow in your head. 
and leave it for about an hour and then just wash it off. And if you repeat this at least once a week, it, um, it will help, it will help a lot. Yeah, and technically you can use any vegetable oil. We like to call them carrier oils mm -hmm. to dilute this particular essential oil, rosemary. And it's the most known benefit of that particular oil to, to help like to protect your hair, to boost hair growth. So yes. All it's right. Very... Well, you're, that's a really good tip. Thank you, guys. And talking about the how to use the oils, do we you, do we need to mix them up with a, a carrier oil? And you use it direct directly in. No, you, you have to understand that essential oils are natural and organic compounds that are highly concentrated. Mm -hmm. Okay. For example, if you have a kilo of lavender, you're going to get just a few milliliters of essential oil. So it's a bunch of flowers and plants and organic elements concentrated just on a few drops. So we always recommend to dilute the essential oils because it can cause like crazy allergic reactions. You never know. There are Skin sensitivities. Yes. Yeah. There are a few oils that are more safe than others, but we always recommend to dilute them to just to be careful and protect yourself. Lavender is, it's, it's very common that may, sometimes you use a drop directly on you or maybe you put a drop on your pillow and I think that is fine in general, but you always have to be very, 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 you have to be very careful with using direct essential oils on your skin. Yeah, one thing that I would say, it's never to ingest direct, like pure essential oils. They can be harmful for you. Each body can react quite differently. So the best way to use it is either through inhalation in a diffuser or through um, topical absorption through um, skincare or blend it with a carrier oil um, or with different ways like water. Mm -hmm. But yeah just always being careful not being being used internally okay um, our biggest recommendation well yeah. that brings me to my next question um and, and this one is from my mom <laughs> she <laughs> said that her dentist said that if she had like a blister inside her mouth to put a tea tree oil like straight in there and apparently it works miracles so is that recommended inside the mouth maybe not uh what's the no. go with that mm -hmm. use it uh only for adults okay. do not use it on children because children will not be able to understand that they not, cannot swallow that mm -hmm. and the, the hazard that that can be um, with tea tree in particular it's a really strong oil and that one definitely must not be ingested Okay. Um, but you can, you can use it on a Q-tip or something and then just apply it directly on that area and mm. try not to swallow it. If you have the need of, of swallowing, just maybe just spit out. Spit it out, uh, okay. On this thing. And All then, right. yes, it would be very helpful, but minimal amount. Mm. And that's a, a specific case, let's call it like that. Yeah, a and lot of people um, use it. If it's outside, if you have a cut or something, out, like it's not in your mouth uh, would you uh, still apply the tea tree oil direct yes and should be yes fine? yeah the the our the first warning that we were mentioning it's just a general advice with essential oils mm -hmm. there are a few specific oils that are widely used on that way for example you are mentioning tea tree that's mm -hmm. one of those same happens with lavender that i mentioned a few minutes ago it's exactly the same so there are a few oils that are more safe than others, yeah. but in general terms, just be careful with the oils. <laughs> <laughs> well, mom, you hear them. So just be careful. <laughs> Don't swallow it, please. <laughs> oh, that's all right. And, um, and what, uh, what oil uh, would you recommend to help the children calm, calm down? Like it, when I have a school pickups, when they get here, they're screaming <laughs> and running around. What can I put in yeah. my diffuser to just make them calm down and chill? <laughs> Look, there's a few oils that are really loved by children. And then that there is, we have to understand as well that this is a sensorial experience. So um, it's important for the children as well to have the connection through aroma, through contact to visual 
through so many ways to help them integrate that experience. So they usually really like sweet orange, which is a mild sedative and it's a beautiful oil to calm down yet not to like, it's not a full sedative. Mm -hmm. Lavender is a beautiful sedative oil, but mostly a little bit more recommended towards uh, towards the evening, towards just quiet time and calming down and winding down. Um, that would be lovely. Mm -hmm. Then you can use oils. Um, sweet orange is beautiful. Um, spearmint, blood orange. They are a little a little bit more in the uplifting ones, but they're also quite nice to just create an atmosphere of serenity at home. That's yeah, nice. another important point with, with that particular case is that you can use aromas as mood triggers. Mm -hmm. So for example, if you on your everyday, you use lavender at night, our brains create an automatic response for that oil. Mm -hmm. So you automatically, okay, now it's time to relax. Now it's time to sleep. And at the same time, you're using the chemistry of the lavender to relax yourself. So when you use it on that way, they tend to be way more effective. Mm -hmm. It's not something that, okay, let's diffuse a few drops and something's going to happen. You need to wire that moment to an experience. And in that way, for example, you can calm the kids. If every day when they arrive at, at home, you want them to slow down, okay, repeat that kind of ritual with the aroma. Mm -hmm. and okay. You're gonna get. You're probably gonna get good results. Routines and association. Yeah, that's nice. So reprogram their brain using the yeah. oil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Yeah. It's not brainwash. It's reprogram. It's, brainwash. <laughs> it's reprogram. It's for their own good and my own good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let me see what other questions the people have here. Um, uh, all right, and we were talking about the lavanda as um, as a good essential oil for to help you sleep during the night. Is there any other oil that would you use to help you sleep? For sleeping, there's a there's a big variety of oils that you can use. We we like to work with different ones. We work with, for example, a combination of cedar wood, which is a bit of a wood oil. It's a very mm. grounding oil that helps to calm down all the senses in combination with lavender, which is a natural sedative. And even with eucalyptus, because eucalyptus will help you open up your airways. So it will help you breathe and oxygenate your brain as well better. But you can also use um, German blue chamomile. It's a beautiful oil, very strong in aroma. So we use it just a little bit, but it's a beautiful oil to also calm down. Um, even would bergamot. You, will you mix them like chamomile and lavender, for example, or is it best not to mix them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can you can experiment mm. and trying to find that sweet aroma spot mm. because you, at, the, at the end of the day, you need to enjoy the aroma. Mm. That happens a lot. People that say, okay, let me try, for example, German blue chamomile, but they don't like the aroma. So it's difficult to force you to be on that environment so we always recommend to start with something that you like and maybe after that when you get used to that aroma you can start experimenting and trying new aromas that maybe at first glance they they weren't so nice but when you use them for for example relaxation or to help you sleep at the end of the day they you understand that they are very useful and you can deal with their own yeah and with essential oils it's interesting that when you combine and understand which ones you are putting together and blending together, you can actually potentiate the benefits of them. So that's a little bit of what we do with our um, aromatherapy mists. For example, we, we have a bedtime mist for, that has German blue chamomile, that has lavender, bergamot, and even ylang ylang. <laughs> and that one is a, is a really easy one to use because you just mist it around yourself. You can mist it on your pillow. It's easy to use for the whole family. And it's, it, it just makes it a bit of a ritual every day and an association every day that when you use it, you can do a little meditation, a little breathing exercise, and your body will say, okay, so it's time to wind down. It's time to sleep. Okay. I like that. <laughs> and that takes me to my next question. Um, 
what else can you use uh, uh, essential oils? Uh, I saw on your website that you have uh, hand sanitizers, uh, mom, mom and baby new line of products. So tell me all about it. That sounds fantastic. Yeah, for example, the hand sanitizer, we created that one uh, as part of our All Your Life uh, home range. Mm -hmm. So we, we have like secret plans mm -hmm. backstage to create a few more products that can help you with your house, household like task. Mm -hmm. If you need to wash the dishes, all the things that you need to do like on an everyday basis, but with an aromatic experience inside so and more naturally yes so all you like home is just the first product of a, of a complete range it's a hand sanitizer it's made with plant-based ethanol and the key element there is lemon myrtle essential oil okay. so it's a, it's a citrus aroma it's very sharp compared with the other citrus like sweet orange bergamot or blood orange mm -hmm. and it's it's beautiful to smell. People love it. Really it's love Australian it. It's an Australian native. It's an Australian yeah. native as well. Oh, and yes. yeah, and you can instantly realize that it doesn't smell like, like vodka or just <laughs> ethanol. <laughs> it has yeah. like another layer that makes it like more like easy to use and you can enjoy it more than a regular hand sanitizer. Oh, yeah. that's great. Because every time I have to put a hand sanitizer, it's like, oh, what, what am I going to get? Yeah. yeah, and everybody's like, oh, no. Yeah. But well, nowadays, nice. it's a must-have in your bag, you know? You, you have to have. Yeah, that's nice. That's uh, and so important uh, during this COVID era now that we are living. So yeah. that's fantastic. And what about the mothers and babies? <laughs> Yes. So we created the Mums and Bubs Pregnancy Skincare Range. Um, mm -hmm. Out of our own experience, we are 33 weeks pregnant at the Yay, moment. Yay! Congratulations! Um, thank you very much. <laughs> and expecting our first baby. So we, we wanted to create a skincare range that would be safe to use for all moms and that could allow themselves to take that experience of aromatherapy and natural skincare into their every, everyday routines during their pregnancy. Um, this pregnancy range is consistent of a, an oil and a butter, and it's really, really focused to provide elasticity for your skin, to pr help prevent um, the appearance of stretch marks, which has worked really, really beautiful for me. Um, and really just give that glow to the skin, give that nurture to your skin in your everyday and um, give yourself an experience, you know, mm -hmm. an aromatic experience. So it will not only help you from a skin point of view, but it will also help you as well to, from an emotional point of view, to calm down, to get in tune with yourself, to get your baby in tune with yourself mm -hmm. as well. That's so fantastic. we have many good plans with, those, with that range at the moment. It's targeted and focused for pregnancy as we are developing with our own um, experience. Mm -hmm. But we are hopeful that in 2021 with the arrival of the baby, it will expand as well into a more baby range too. So stay tuned. Oh, wow. Well, the best of luck with that. I wish I, um, I knew about this uh, seven years ago. <laughs> But anyway, it's a good option to have. <laughs> and what is the best way to find you guys? If, if you want to, to find, find us anytime, just jump on the website. It's www.olu.live and you're going to find the whole range directly. Uh, we're also doing a few markets. For example, this week we're going to be in Newcastle with the Sydney Vegan Market. Sorry, Newcastle Vegan Market. Mm -hmm. And next week, we're going to be doing Sydney Vegan Market. Correct. Yeah, so those two are the only events that we have for this month. Uh, Sydney-based only. Sydney-based only, yes. Okay. So we are not doing, there are not too many markets at the moment. Okay. But if you want to just reach us directly, go jump on the website and you will find the whole range of products. We also have a live chat. So if you have any questions, you can ask us directly and 
us or our team will respond like very quickly. And that has been something lovely because people want to have questions or want to have an understanding of what to use and when. And I think that's one of the th key things for us is we, we like to provide that benefit of, of experience and, and help them through their journey and try to cater something for them if they have any questions. So we're always there in the chat to help out and give Let's you... See. And do you guys um, 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 uh, del deliver everywhere in Australia or you do overseas as well? Or oh, just everywhere. Worldwide delivery. Yes. Worldwide, worldwide, okay. Delivery. Worldwide delivery. <laughs> so if you live in the other side of the world, you can also have your all your life. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you can get your essential points. <laughs> Well, guys, it's been great to see you and congratulations for the new baby and the new line of uh, mom and babs and have a great rest of the week. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. If you like this video, there's three things you can do for us. You can give us a like, you can share it with someone that might find this information helpful, and you can also hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Thanks for your time.